All right, we're going to start off this one with the NIV. You know, the other day I got a message from somebody that suggested me putting this information on YouTube is like casting pearls amongst my uh, amongst the swine. And you trolls are the swine. <laughs> so, but usually the trolls don't listen to this video. They just see the title of it and go on. So what we're doing now is we're comparing three different types of Bibles. We're comparing uh, the Hallelujah Scriptures with the NIV with the King James Version. And what this does, it gives everybody a chance to see what the difference is, if any. And uh, you wouldn't believe how many people that think, oh, this is Satan's Bible. And then they, these people over here will say, the other ones are Satan's Bible. Uh, if you don't read this one, you're going to hell. If you, uh, and the people from the King James say, if you take this one, they're, it's just they're arguing amongst themselves. And Jesus said, if they're not preaching against me, leave, me, leave them alone. <laughs> so, anyhow. I'm going to start off with the NIV this time, so here we go. Let's see. Genesis chapter 13, New International Version. Genesis 13. So Abram went up from Egypt to the Negev with his wife and everything he had, and Lot went with him. Abram had become very wealthy in livestock and in silver and gold. From the Negev he went from place to place until he came to Bethel, to the place between Bethel and Ai where his tent had been earlier, and where he had first built an altar. There Abram called on the name of the Lord. Now Lot, who was moving about with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents. But the land could not support them while they stayed together, for their possessions were so great that they were not able to stay together. And quarreling arose between Abram's herders and Lot's. The Canaanites and the Perizzites were also living in the land at that time. So Abram said to Lot, Let's not have any quarreling between you and me, or between your herders and mine, for we are close relatives. Is not the whole land before you? Let's part company. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. Lot looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan toward Zoar was well watered like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set out toward the east. The two men parted company. Abram lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tents near Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. The Lord said to Abram after Lot had parted from him, Look around from where you are, to the north and south, to the east and west. All the land that you see, I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. Go, walk through the length and breadth of the land, for I am giving it to you. So Abram went to live near the great trees of Mamre at Hebron, where he pitched his tents. There he built an altar to the Lord. Genesis 13. All right. So now let's see if I can get this working right. We'll move on to the Hebrew Scriptures. Genesis 13. Let me get the book over here. Come on, play. Bereshit chapter 13. And Avram went up from Mitzrayim into the south, he and his wife and all that he had, and Lot with him. And Avram was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journey from the south, as far as Beit El, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Beit El and Ai to the place of the slaughter place which he had made there at first. And there Avram called on the name of Yahweh. 
Now Lot, who went with Avram, also had flocks and herds and tents, and the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their possessions were great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Avram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. And at that time the Canaanites and the Perizzites dwelt in the land. And Avram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brothers. Is not all the land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of the Yarden, that it was well watered everywhere. Before Yahweh destroyed Sedom and Amorah, like the garden of Yahweh, like the land of Mitzrayim, as you go toward Soar. So Lot chose for himself all the plain of the Yarden, and Lot moved east. Thus they separated from each other. Avram, dwelling in the land of Kenaan, and Lot, dwelling in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent as far as Sedom. But the men of Sedom were evil, and sinned before Yahweh exceedingly so. And after Lot had separated from him, Yahweh said to Avram, Now lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are, northward and southward and eastward and westward, for all the land which you see I shall give to you and your seed forever. And I shall make your seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could count the dust of the earth, then your seed also could be counted. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. So Avram moved his tent and went and dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built a slaughter place there to Yahweh. All right, and last we're going to end up with the King James Version. Let's move on down here. Got to get to the right number. Hopefully they all get it better this time. Genesis chapter 12. Whoops. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out. I could have sworn I had 13, but let's try that again. Uh, it's what I get for thinking too much. Genesis chapter 13. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot with him, into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south, even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Hai, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. And Lot also, which went with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together. For their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite and the Perizzite dwelled then in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere. Before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zoar. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, after that Lot was separated from him, Lift up now thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art northward and southward, and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it, and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. 
Then Abram removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. So, it's, pretty, it's not all of what is Israel right now, but part of what is Israel right now. This goes back a long time. The only thing I see over there right now is... Are the people there now the original Jews? I'm not sure if those are the original ones. Uh, like I say, that's a, that's a discussion for somebody that has genealogy. But uh, anyhow, uh, that was it for the three. You be the judge. Do you see any big differences? Uh, I'm not encountering any uh, life-altering differences in the versions yet. Uh, of course, the Hebrew uh, goes back to the old Hebrew names, which is, for me, more confusing. So, anyway, we will continue on with chapter 15 uh, in the next video. No, yeah, 15. No, 14. 14.